Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to be tackling this equation right here. And this is going to be extra fun because we're going to put away our calculators. So let me go to read the equation. Of course, you can see it, but we have 16 to the 2 minus s squared equal to 1 half. And the objective here is to solve for the variable s. Now, you might be saying, hey, why are you uh, saying no calculator? I got a calculator can help me out. Well, you want to know how to do this uh, problem with a calculator as well, but it's not necessary. Matter of fact, for those of you in courses like Algebra 2, College Algebra, or Pre-Calculus, there'll be plenty of um, test exams, quizzes, etc., like that, you, that your, uh, your teacher will say, put away your calculator because they want to see if you kind of understand the underlying principles. So anyways, this uh, particular equation is uh, not too difficult to solve without the aid of a calculator. So if you can figure it out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second, and then I'm gonna walk through the solution step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer. Again, we are trying to solve this equation for the variable s. Let's go and take a look at the answer. Now, again, I wanna stress that I want you to do this problem without the aid of your calculator. So if you got this answer, s is equal to positive negative three halves, well, that indicates to me uh, that you know what you're doing and how to solve exponential equations without the aid of a calculator. So let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are an expert at solving exponential equations without a uh, calculator. Okay, they'll be very impressed with that information. Matter of fact, when they run into a problem, they'll probably call you up or text you and say, hey, how do you do this problem? Just make sure you know that you charge a fair fee for your math tutoring services. Anyways, with all joking aside, if you were able to do this problem with a calculator, okay, of course you have to see uh, uh, that your answer is equivalent to positive negative three halves, then that's good as well, but you need to be able to do uh, solve these type of equations without a calculator. Now, if you're uh, completely lost, you're like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, uh, there is a good chance that you haven't yet studied this material. Okay, we're talking about exponential functions, logarithms, and this is a kind of an advanced math topic that's introduced at the Algebra 2, college algebra level, certainly the pre-calculus level. So if you're in a math course like pre-calculus or basic algebra, you may not have seen this yet, but uh, let's go ahead and get into the problem right now. So here we have 16 two to the s squared, two, uh, 16 to the two minus s squared, excuse me, is equal to one half. So anytime you have an equation, you wanna look at the equation, ask yourself, hey, what type of equation do I have here? Now, of course, by the title of the video, you know that this is an exponential equation, but why would this be an exponential equation? Well, hopefully uh, you uh, recognize this as an exponential equation because the variable that we're trying to solve for is located up in the exponent, right? So if you have two to the third power, of course that's equal to eight, two is the base and three is the exponent. So if our variable that we're trying to solve for is up in the exponent, then you're dealing with an exponential equation. So in mathematics and especially algebra, and uh, of course more advanced beyond that, anytime you're faced with an equation and you don't know what type of equation it is, you have to stop and think, you know, what is, what am I dealing with? Because there's all different sorts of uh, type of equations and you need to first recognize what type of equation you have. Then you have to say, okay, this is this type of equation. The next step is, what do you do with this type of equation? So we're dealing with an exponential equation. So you wanna be thinking the following. So anytime you have an exponential equation, in general, you wanna be thinking uh, logarithms to solve that equation. Okay, and again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you a little bit just in, uh, in one second, but you may not have seen this yet. Now, if you see a logarithmic equation, you wanna be thinking x, uh, 
exponents to solve that. And the reason why that's the case is because exponential functions and log uh, logarithmic functions are inverses of one another. Okay, this is a huge topic. And again, if you need more instruction on this, check out either my Algebra 2, College Algebra, or Pre-Calculus course. I also have a ton of additional uh, videos on my YouTube channel as well. But, uh, you know, again, if you're at these levels of mathematics, you must understand this. So let's go ahead and uh, get into this right now. So here we have our problem. And let's suppose I said, just do this, you know, problem any way you want. So the first thing you say, okay, 16, 2 to the S, uh, 2 um, minus S squared, excuse me, is equal to 1 half. We could say, all right, I'm dealing with an uh, exponential equation, so we could do this, right? Let's say you had a calculator, and I didn't say you, you uh, could not use a calculator, but you recognize this as an exponential uh, equation. So typically, when you have an exponential equation, what you want to do, excuse me, is to take the log of uh, both sides. Now, here we're taking the LOG, which is the common log or log base 10. Uh, that's why uh, the reason why we do that is because we have that common log button on our calculator. We also have the natural log button on our calculator. Now, uh, interesting enough, we could take the natural log ln of both sides, but typically we don't do that. We only do that when we're dealing with the base of e. But I don't want to go off on too many tangents here, but I just want to show those of you out there that are uh, interested how could I, you know, how you could do this problem with um, uh, using your calculator. So the first thing is you would take the uh, logarithm of both sides and then we would use a property of logarithms to bring down this uh, exponential, uh, this expression in, uh, that represents the exponent here, right? So I would bring this the whole thing down in front of this log like so, and then I'm gonna go ahead and continue to solve. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and uh, do the remainder of this problem, but just so you know, log 16 is a number you can get into your calculator, and log 1 half is a number you can get into, what ca into your calculator. So you're just dealing with values, and you're going to end up with a quadratic equation to solve the uh, remaining problem. Okay, so just a little bit of um, kind of an insight on how you would uh, do, in general, uh, solve exponential uh, equations. Okay, now this particular equation you can solve uh, without the aid of a calculator, right? So our second option is first we can use our, um, take the log of both sides or we can do this, okay? So what is this? Well, what is this? Well, let me show you what this is right now. All right, so this is how we're going to solve um, an exponential equation with, uh, without the aid of a calculator. The secret is going to be we wanna uh, get the bases, uh, we want to we want to construct, let me just kind of say this uh, in a better way. What you want to be thinking is the following. You want, you have an equation, right? So that we're dealing with an equation. Your objective is to get the same base, right? So here I'm going to make, uh, here we have an exponent, here we have an exponent, this is a base, this is a base. So we want to rewrite whatever is involved in this equation such that we have the same base involved, okay? So in other words, uh, this base could be two and this base could be two, and then we would have two expressions in the exponents. So that's uh, the um, kind of the basic strategy here. Let me kind of show you this in action. I think this will make uh, better sense. But this is what you want to do to solve exponential equations um, without the aid of a calculator. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this 1 half as 2 to the negative 1. Now, if you don't know why uh, uh, 1 half is equal to 2 to the negative 1, you need to review your uh, power and exponent rules, right? So namely, a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n. So we're kind of uh, talking about stuff that you would learn in basic algebra, okay? So... Here I got my one half. I have a two, so I don't want to leave this as a fraction. I want to express this one half as a power. Okay, so I can express one half as two to the negative one. Okay, now at this point I'm thinking, all right, 16, I know I can get a two. I can write 16 as a power two, all right? And this is the main idea, is you want to create 
uh, a situation where you have one power equaling to another power where the bases are the same. So I got a 16 here. I have a 2 here. I'm thinking, you know, I can write 16 as uh, a power of 2. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So 16 is equal to 2 to the fourth power, right? Because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, of course, is 16. So instead of a 16 here, I'm going to write this as 2 to the fourth power because this has a base of 2, and I can get this as a base of 2 right here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll replace that 16 with a 2 to the fourth, and here is the equivalent problem. So now we're in good shape to solve this exponential equation because we have the bases the same, okay? Now I can just equate the exponents. If I have, if this is, if this right here is equal to this and the bases are the same, well, what does that mean? It means the exponents must be the same as well. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and solve this problem by just solving, uh, just focusing on the exponents and creating uh, an equation uh, um, from the exponents, and then we can just solve for that variable, all right? So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we have two to the fourth, which of course is with which of course is sixteen. So what we need to do is to uh, distribute this four right here. Now this again is an example of a property that you should know about powers and exponents. When you have a power to another power, okay, an outside exponent to an inside exponent, a to the m to the n power is equal to a to the m times n. And uh, for example, two squared uh, to the third power is equal to two to the six. So here I can distribute this in, but I can also just distribute the four in here. So that'd be uh, four times two is eight. And then four times minus s squared will give me four minus uh, four s squared, okay? So we have eight minus uh, four s squared. So again, we're just focusing in on the exponents. We don't need to equate the bases. Those are obviously the same. So we're just gonna go ahead and create an equation with this equaling to this right here. Okay, so again, four times two is eight, and then four times this minus s squared is minus four s squared, and that's gonna be equal to negative one. So now we're off to the races here. We have a quadratic equation. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract uh, 8 from both sides of the equation. I'm going to get negative 4. S squared is equal to negative 9. Divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. I get S squared is equal to negative 9 over negative 4, which of course is a positive 9 fourths. So now to solve for S, I just need to take the square root of both sides. I'm going to get S is equal to positive and negative uh, uh, 3 over 2. Okay, of course, I can solve this by taking the square root of 9 which of course is three, and then the square root of uh, four, which of course is two, and we are dealing with a quadratic equation, so it's both positive and negative. Okay, so a lot of kind of moving parts um, uh, in this particular problem, like rules for powers and exponents, you know, basic quadratic equations, the concepts of exponential functions and logarithms, uh, et cetera. So, you know, again, this is a more of a, an advanced um, math topic, nothing that you can't handle, but here is kind of uh, one of the main takeaways from this video outside of showing you how to solve an exponential equation without the aid of a calculator. And that is the following, okay? To be successful in mathematics, all right, you have to kind of take steps, all right? It's a process of climbing steps, and all these steps are skills and knowledge that you need along the way, okay? You can't solve exponential functions or logarithmic functions without mastering all this other stuff. So just keep that in mind as you study mathematics that everything is important and everything that you are learning, I can almost guarantee you that you will uh, uh, need that skill for a future skill that you're gonna try to, um, you know, that you may study if you continue to, uh, you know, learn more advanced math, which I hope you do. Okay, so if this little video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.